Welcome back, lady users. In this video tutorial, we're going over how to add a section to our website. So let's go into the toolbox. Let's actually switch into desktop view so we can have a little better idea of what's going on. We'll go back into the toolbox. We're going to scroll down to add something. Now you will need an upgrade to Leia Pro or Leia Business in order to access this add something tool. Let's add a section. All right, let's give it a section name. Let's just call it our new section. Uh, this is going to be the title of the section. This explains how the columns work and it explains that if you're viewing on mobile that the columns will stack vertically. Um, but since we're in the desktop view, we'll actually see what it's going to look like on the desktop. So here we need to choose how many columns per row. Now this drop down is going to be massive because I'm doing this mobily on my laptop, but it's not going to look like this for you. Let's just do two columns per row. And let's just do, let's do three rows. Excellent. And then you can choose the type of background as well. You can also go back in and edit this in the future if you decide you don't like it the way you picked now. Let's go ahead and choose a color. It will default to white. Let's go next. So here's where we choose the elements we would like in each column. And you can, you can use elements multiple times. You can do two headers if you like. You can do any combination of these. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just do a header and an image. And again, down here, you can click and drag and drop and put them in whatever order you'd like. So let's go ahead and create the section. Now we have to decide where we would like to put the section. Uh, let's say it's a pretty important section, so let's put it up here underneath the header. And then there is our new section. That's great. So you see here in the section toolbar, you can, you can add more columns. Let's say you want another one. You can, there's going to be a seventh column. Excellent. You can also remove them as well. Uh, we can switch back into the mobile view to see what that, that looks like as well. Now again, they're going to stack vertically. There you go. And you can change each of these elements. You can change this image and uh, all sorts of different things. You can check, change the title as well. If you're going to be featuring products or something in this section. One more thing I want to show you is that new section is going to show up in the menu and you can actually move it around. It's down here at the bottom. If you want to move it up closer to the top, let's put it up, drop it up here, put it right there. That's great. And let's also check out if we open up the menu, we can also see that it is going to be down up. It's actually up here because I moved it up here. So let's see the link. The link to that section is actually going to be a pretty long, interesting string. So if you want to, for example, build a button to lead to this section, you're going to want to copy this long uh, pound or hashtag and then all this, this long random string. That's how you're going to link to this section. All right, that looks like about it for adding a section. Please check out our other tutorials on how to use our many other tools. And if you have any further questions, please email us at leah at vibesoftware.com or visit heylea.com slash contact. Thanks for watching.